Hello, good evening, dear friends. Got a new lipstick. So, once we have uh, uh, studied the, um, I have talked about uh, um, what is that? It's uh, the lipstick economy. Whenever there is a recession, the lipstick sales goes up. <laughs> I don't know how true it is to the nation, but uh, it is pretty true for me. When life becomes tough, I buy a lipstick. It's not in, I intentionally buy lipsticks so often, it's just uh, It's uh, always a certain accident, accident, that uh, whenever I find myself trapped into something hard to handle, difficult to deal with, the supermarket or the lipstick brands, will always, at that particular time, have some new products coming out. This is a new packaging and it's called Whisper. <laughs> what a coincidence. Whisper is not something that I can understand. But uh, nonetheless, I can enjoy the lipstick. Take a look. This camera does not show very well the, the, the color. It's nothing wrong with the, the camera. Maybe the light, the LED light setting is not just, it's not so perfect. It's a, it's a little bit too more red, more warm color than the color shown here. Maybe after some time it can settle down. Let me see if I have a, a mirror to see myself. I think I, have. <clears throat> I see milk. Oh no, I do not have one. What a pity. Let me see. Yeah, I can see from the mirror. So maybe take a picture of that. So that I can see the color of this one. Okay. This is a beautiful light. Shining like diamond, shining, shining like diamond. Another good news coming in. Okay, one moment. Let me take a picture of myself just to see the color. I'm too lazy to go to <laughs> It's like a machine gun. Let us see the color. Oh no, I do not want to show you this picture. <laughs> oh, it's good color. Not too bad the color, but you cannot see clear.
Yeah, this way sure better after. Dun dun ding ding ding. It's better. The color is better. Anyway, <coughs> it's a it's a pleasant color. So it's, it's a purplish, cold, a, a kind of cold color. It's not very hot, warm, and. Uh, and orange, yellow, yellowish color. It's uh, from the cold family, purplish and uh, <clears throat> So this video is about chronic pain. And eel, I eel miss, and how to live through this chronic pain and illness and still keep positive. So, one is chronic pain and illness, two is keep positive. So, are you getting ready to be disappointed? Are you ready to be disappointed? Why? There are two reasons. One, I do not have, do not have, I do not have chronic pain and illness. So I just need to try to imagine it and uh, keep positive. It's uh, quite rare for me to be positive, and uh, a lot of time, I will not say m myself being so negative, but uh, I'm just uh, neutral or usually sad. I don't know what to say. It. Let me try to be. <coughs> At least try to be positive. <coughs> uh, <coughs> I think chronic pain, if you are always in pain, <coughs> pain is <coughs> pain will become kind of uh, a habit of uh, a way of living. So if that becomes a way of living, then not very much you can do, not. I'm becoming addicted into this pen. Not very much you can do. You have to live with it and live through it. And if it has become a habit, if if you are constantly living in a pain. For example, <clears throat> I do not really qualify for that chronic pain, but uh, some parts of my body does not function very well. So 
I was every day, every morning in pain. And um, so <clears throat> it becomes a habit. You get accustomed to it. And, uh, and uh, you just understand. I just understand. It doesn't help. To complain, it doesn't help to to be sad about it. It doesn't help to why do I do this video? It doesn't help to uh, to think about the pain because you are accustomed to it and you know this is a part of your life I know this is part of my life being in pain, being in suffer a certain kind of suffer it's part of my daily life then mm, then it's nothing strange it's nothing foreign it's nothing to be surprised just accept it and do not make it as a reason to be sad. Do not, do not use it as an excuse to, to be negative, to be less positive. And uh, some people start from here, from uh, normal. Some t people start from here, below normal, because our body condition does not give us the does not give us the the privilege of being normal. Then we start from there, but we make sure our spirit is always starting from here starting from normal start your your spirit independent from your health condition from our health condition and uh, accept may it be good <clears throat> may it be less than good accept it live with it accept and live with it And keeping ourselves positive. I think uh, positive and negative. is a pair of matter that coexist that coexist I'm not talking about philosophy I think it's a balanced act it needs to be balanced <clears throat> needs to be balanced and um, this is our life uh, reservoir some people have more positive some people have less positive anyway let's put it in the middle if we drain this part this part will go into this part Do I make sense? 
So if you if you 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 stop any part, the other part will take over. So if you are always positive, then you you stop all the positivity. What is left over is negative, right? So then you will be negative. If you use up all the negative, what is left over is the positive, right? So there are two things. In one box, there are two. It's like air. It's like water. It floats. It floats around. When one thing finishes, the other thing comes. When one part finishes, the other part comes. So it is. Um, gosh, this must be a a fallacy, my fallacy. So what? I don't know what I want to say. I think um, when. There are sad things happen. There are sad things happen when you have negativity. Do not be afraid of it. Accept it, because um, on video or in movie or in books, we all see people. That、um, boosting us up and trying to te- to teach us be positive, be positive, and nobody teach us to be negative, right? And the truth is that、uh, there there is not truth. What I believe is that、uh, sometimes you need to get the negative out. Otherwise, you do not have a balanced life. You need to cry. You need to scream. You need to break things, and only when you get all these negativities out, negativities out, you can live a balanced life. The other day, I was、uh, <coughs> in a meeting, listen to to people talking about this.、Uh, This is school safety, and right now there are so much gun shooting and、uh, shooting in the school. This happens almost on a daily basis. It's just uh, uh, so often time, not so often time. It was reported, and this couple of days it was reported more. And、um, the people who finally pulling the trigger and killed people. They used to be human. They used to be human, and something wrong with them. They became monster. What are the reasons for them to become monster? There are many people thinking different way, saying different way, and did study of it. And what I heard is that so often time these people who End up doing such a ruthless, thoughtless things. So often time they were the kids, they were the people who being bullied, and、uh, bullied one time, bullied two times, three times, many many times. They have the evil energy. They have.、Uh, They have the anger, the sad, the panic, or the the depression, the stress. All these things accumulated in their heart and cannot express out. All the they are lacking the ability to to express it out. All they are not、uh, for whatever reason. It's the wrong thing, the bad thing, the evil thing accumulate at the end. So much evil overtake their soul, so they became a monster. So they used to be human. I don't know what 
what I said make sense or not. They used to be the same as you and me, a human, eat food, think about pain and suffered, and they have, uh, they had, uh, they had feeling, and all this was not channeled in the right way. At the end, so much anger, so much negativity, overtake them, and. Uh, they become just one thought to revenge, to revenge in the most ruthless, in the in the worst. In the, I I I have no words to express it. In the most uh, unhuman way to revenge. So. We should take care of ourselves. Nobody is guaranteed to be angel the whole life. Nobody is guaranteed not making mistake. Nobody is guaranteed not making big mistake. And the way we avoid those mistakes is to find balance, to channel our anger out, to, to have many small mistakes so that we can avoid big mistake. And uh, <clears throat> I think in my culture, <clears throat> I am not sure whether it's in my culture or, or what, and uh, I always uh, heard old people when I was young, old people told me, so you see, somebody was always sick, 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 but uh, but uh, he was always sick, and he lived a very long life. And somebody was very strong, never sick, and one time sick, and then, boom, passed away. So there are this amount of trouble in our life. You have to get it out, either slowly or at one time, explosion. So if we have if we have this amount of problem, each time we get this this out, one block out, so minus one little block. Another time get out one minus another block. And then another time minus another. Another time minus other. So this huge chunk of problem will be dismantled slowly, eventually, and disappear. But if we have this big of problem in our life, one time there is a problem, you do not get it out. Another time, do not get it out. At the end of the day, it will become so big, and it beyond your own ability to handle, it will explode. So, this is the reason why I say, when you are, <coughs> when you are sad, be sad. When you are mad, be mad. Allow yourself to be the true you. You pretend, pretend to be a good person and listen to others, pretend, pretend. You will be too tired. At the end, you will be exhausted and explode yourself. When you have tears, cry it out. Pour your tear out like rain, like storm. Pour your tear. 
in a private place or even in a public place because pouring tear will not hurt anybody. The worst thing, you lose your face because you are crying in front of people, but you are not doing anything really that wrong. It's just, a, it's just about face, but uh, not a big deal. And if you are sad, if you are mad, you need to scream out, scream out, shout, Shout to your closest person, usually your mom, I know. This is what I do, and this is a, a family tradition. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Mom is to be shouted. at. Yeah. I think one day I saw in Pinterest there was... A, there was one, or in Facebook, someone, someone right, wrote, um, when you are a mom, you are just like a rock star. Uh, people will not talk to you. People yell at you. <laughs> right, moms? <laughs> and uh, and uh, you are followed ev everywhere, even when you go to toilet, right? Moms, like a rock star. And uh, what else? You are not talked with, you are always yelled at. <laughs> anyway, so if you need to, to scream, scream out, yell out, and uh, if you need to break things, break up something, tear some paper, break some plate, even more expensive plate, yes, you need to do, you need to do, you have to do, you have to do, right? And uh, if that will help you to become a normal person, go for it. It... Uh, takes a lot of uh, extraordinary, 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 extraordinary effort to make an ordinary person. It, let me write it down, I feel I'm saying something pretty brilliant. Fear that I caught it takes extraordinary effort it takes extra how to spell it Extraordinaire, extraordinaire. Yeah, I'm right. Extraordinaire. It takes extraordinary effort to make one ordinary 